Hello guys, this is Narin Morya back with another video. In this video, we will be building a REST API for multiple role-based authentication system using Node.js and Passport. And for the database, we will be using MongoDB. So let's go and get started. Currently, I'm on a new fresh project directory, which I just created as Node projects. Here I'll be putting my all the Node projects and it's completely clean. So if I put ls, there's nothing in this directory so far. And I want you to go and install Node.js quickly because we'll be using Node.js in order to install our dependencies as well as use them. So you can simply go to nodejs.org and you'll get this link from here. You can download this node LTS version, whatever version you feel like, you can download it from here. The next software which we'll be using to interact with our REST APIs will be the Postman. So here I have already Postman installed. If you haven't installed, you can directly search it on the Google Postman and you can simply download it from there. Then for the editors, I will be using VS Code, which is my favorite text editor. So if you haven't installed, you can simply go here or you can use whatever text editor you are comfortable with. But I usually prefer no VS Code. So I go to the VS Code route and that is here you can go and simply download this VS Code. If you haven't installed, then don't worry, you can use your own text editor, whatever you feel like. So let's go and create a project over here. So firstly, I will be creating uh, like directory. So for that, I'm going to create a directory over here, mkdir server. And if I ls, now we have a server folder over there. So if I cd into server, and now currently I'm in server folder, which is completely empty, which we just created. So to start a Node.js project, we have to simply write npm init and it will take you through a wizard where you have to specify the things of your application. So for that, I'll be, I'm using only server for application name and by default, it will take the name of the uh, directory in which this package.json file will be created. So I'm just gonna go with the server version is fine. Description, simple role-based authentication system entry point is index.js you can go for index.js but i usually go prefer using app.js because i like that thing very well so test command is fine github repository it's okay no worries simple role-based authentication system and author, you can put your own name, I'll put mine. So Nandi, Nandi. A license I usually prefer for MIT and this will ask, is this okay? So I'll hit enter and it will, now if I ls in my directory, it ha we have this pack package.json file created in our uh, current working directory. So to open the directory in Visual Studio Code, we'll simply write code dot. And for Atom, you can simply write Atom dot if your Atom path is configured properly. So I have installed code, so I will go for the code. So this will open up my VS code. And here I have my packet.json file. So let me go and quickly increase the font size. Yeah, so here we have increased our font size so that you can view it properly. And the package.json, if I go to package.json, we have this whole thing over here. The package name, version, description, and keyword, simple, role-based, authentication system, and whatever. Uh, this is getting quite bigger, so I'm just going to decrease a little bit. Yeah, I hope that will work. So now if I want to open a terminal in this project, I can simply write, uh, simply press control and pack sticks. So this will open up a terminal in a Visual Studio code. And here we have it. Now I'm going to install a couple of dependencies. So, so to install a couple of dependencies, I will have to simply write npm install. And after that, whatever dependencies which we want, we can simply write those names. So first one I will be using is body parser because we will be interacting with the JSON responses. Then I'll be using course because course is our module for Node.js which allows other origins to interact with other APIs. 
and then I'll be using bcrypt.js which will be useful in hashing our passwords so then I'll be using express to run our server and then json web tokens for creating a json web tokens then mongoose to interact with the mongodb database and then I'll be also using mongoose unique valley data unique valley data package a package just to validate the user's credentials then I'll be using passport just to authenticate and also I'll be using passport JWT because passport will provide a uh, pro help us in authenticating with the uh, authenticating with the request while the passport JWT will be useful in verifying our token so if I press enter it will uh, install it will take a little bit of time and just so I'm gonna quickly pause this video and once it is done I'll be back my all the dependencies are installed and it has been successfully added to this dependencies folder in our packet.json and also created a node module folder in which are all the modules are here which we have used which we'll be using in our application so once it is done let's go and quickly create our app.js file i'm gonna hide this terminal or make it a little bit shorter so i'm gonna simply hide this terminal uh, make it shorter so to create a new file i'll simply write touch app.js and once it is done i'll get this touched app.js file in the directory so here we have our app.js file st started and i'm gonna quickly just gonna make couple of configurations in order to optimize our code so for that here we have this editor on for format on save and i'll set it to true and don't worry if you don't have this thing you can simply go to the settings and click on this json and just write these lines of code within the curly braces so it will override the settings of the your text editor so once it is done now i'm gonna bring in some couple of dependencies first one is const express which will be require express so this is pulling out the express dependency from here which we have here somewhat yeah so this will be pulling out this dependency from the node module folder and then the next one will be mongoose so it will be require require and mongoose that will be the package name then i'll have const body parser equal to require body parser and we brought in all all those packages which we required so far and i'll be also using co course so for that i'm going to initialize a variable that is called course equal to require and that is course so we have successfully brought in our course module also now i'm gonna bring something else that is called passport uh, which is acquire oh sorry acquire and i'm gonna simply write passport after that i'm gonna bring in path module which you don't have to install it comes always default with that so you just have to bring in that so we have brought in our dependencies which we will require now i will initialize the app and for that i'll create a variable const application which is express and it is initialized so far now i have to define to in order to run up server we have to define the port in here so for that defining the port i'll define a variable that is port and which is equal to process dot e n v dot port or fall back to 5000 so what does this mean is if our application is hosted in a cloud platform where like Azure or 
Amazon Web Services or something else. It will use that port, whatever the port is free for there. And instead, if there's no, nothing such, such type of fire exists, so it will fall back to localhost 5000. So you can use any port, whatever you feel like, which which you are comfortable with. I usually go for for to run my Node applications. I usually use port 5000. So after that, I'm gonna simply create a simple route that is app.get, and for that, I'll be using slash. So and it will take two objects. First one is request, and the second one is response, and I will return res response dot json and I'll echo some very basic stuff that is message and this is this is node dot js role based authentication system and here we have our first route. Then after that, to run the server, I'll use app.listen. And here I will be passing the port object which we just created and which will give a callback. And that is simply, we can simply write console.log. I'm using Arctic here. Server started on port. And I'll use this port object over here. Port. So now I, to run this file, I will be simply using this thing node and app file. So this will simply run this file, and it is saying that our port is running on the fi port 5000, our server is running on port 5000. And if I go to this postman, I'll write localhost port 5000 and slash send this we get this response back from there this is a node node.js rule based authentication system this is a json response which we are getting from back from the server so once it is done i'm gonna initialize a couple of middlewares so to initialize the middlewares we have to simply write some commands which we'll be using now so i'm gonna using defining the middlewares and for that first one I'll be using app.choose and that is course module which we brought in and after that I'll be setting the static folder set the static folder for that app.use and express dot static and then after that whatever the path module which we have brought in so for path that join and it will take the current working directory which we can get from journey and after that public so so far we have created this folder and this is will be created in our root so public folder so now it is referencing this public folder as our starting directory where we'll be our, where we'll be putting our our javascript or images whatever you feel like assets css or index pages whatever you feel like you can put that over here but i really we won't be using that thing in here because we are simply creating a server for the json responses and authenticate the user via rest api after that i'm gonna use body parser module parser middleware so to you simply write app.use and i'll also tell you how to you how to create your custom middleware over here middleware function so i'll simply write body parser and dot json because we are simply interacting with the json json objects and here we have our inside a body parser middleware after that, I will be using this passport app.use to, to use that passport dot initialize, and here we have it. Passport middleware. 
after that i'm just simply gonna copy the because we are using passport sessions also we'll be using somewhere session and so in this way we have simply initialize all the middlewares and that's basically it about this video and in the next video i will be going to start creating other routes also so stay tuned with the next video and give this video a thumbs up if, if you like the explanation as well as if you want to support us you can share our videos to those who want to start programming and want to learn the things from scratch so thank you guys i'll see you in the next video